What's up guys? Welcome to another Build a Break Garage episode. In today's episode, I'm going to make a turbo manifold. No real reason, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys how to make a turbo manifold for your car. Uh, this doesn't necessarily mean that I'm boosting any of my cars, but it at least shows you guys how easy it is to actually make a turbo manifold. It's relatively simple, I mean, at least if you got a welder and some fabrication skills. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to work on this motor since I got it on the stand and make it nice and easy. I'm going to use this manifold and I already got it uh, chopped up a little bit here so uh, I can get it ready. The basic thing we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and get an upturn on the pipe. And I still have this part from my old manifold and that's where the turbo is going to mount. Pretty much that's... Uh, gonna be it but it's, uh, it should be pretty easy I'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys in the GoPro and hopefully uh, you guys get a good idea of how this is how this is made so uh, enjoy okay so first things first what I'm gonna do is the this pipe has some pretty jagged cuts on it and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw it into the to the vise and I'm gonna go ahead and take a flat wheel and flatten those out so Okay, so once you get the edge of the flange all uh, nice and flat, I'm going to go ahead and start mocking up exactly where we want this to be. I think we're going to just tack it on and we're just going to go from there and see how it goes. I already got the turbo, I already brought the turbo out to try to see where I want the flange to end up, but uh, I basically I just wing it like I wing it like the last time and it worked pretty good, so we'll see how it goes this time. Okay, so I got the first pipe tack welded on. The next step is to figure out where to cut it so that we can get this to go up here. So we're gonna have to figure out how to trim it down here so that way we can get that to do that. All right, guys, uh, so that kind of fell apart, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get that retacked on. And uh, also, Alex decided to show up from Domestic Violence Racing. And uh, yeah, uh, we're going to get this retacked back on, and uh, hopefully, I can get it positioned a little bit better because the turbo was a little too close to head for comfort. So uh, we'll see. Okay, so I got it retacked back on. Um, this is a little still too close to the head, so what I'm going to go do is I'm going to pie cut or just make a relief cut in here and I'm going to tip it back towards the front of the car a little bit more. So i uh, just going to take the grinder and cut a relief joint in it and then uh, bend it and then weld it. So. Okay. And just like that, go ahead and got the turbo kind of uh, in its position. Got everything all tacked up and check out the precision on that. Just barely clears. But now what I'm gonna go do is take it all apart and I'm gonna weld everything up off the motor and then uh, get it back on and see if anything tweaked while it, uh, during uh, welding. I got it all welded up and uh, yeah, it actually ended up tweaking it itself, but now it gave me a little bit more room than uh, it had before. So here it is in all of its turbo glory. The turbo now has about two and a half mils of clearance, which is really good. And uh, yeah, it may not be the prettiest looking thing in the world, but it will boost. So uh, now to work on, see if I can get the downpipe ran and uh, actually make this like a full kit. So um, yeah. So uh, put you guys back in the GoPro and take a look. All right, so we got the turbo uh, lined up on where we want to get it. So next thing to do is try to figure out the wastegate. We're going to go ahead and probably take the wastegate and have it dump out towards the front this time. So it leaves us a little bit more room to fish it through here. So I'll throw you in the GoPro and uh, you guys can watch our struggles with this. All right, so we're starting to work on the downpipe, and uh, so far I got this part chopped up, facing down, 
Uh, I think I'm gonna take this 90 and get it mounted up here. So that way it'll snake through like this and then end up shooting it down underneath the car. All right, so we've got the downpipe started. Uh, so far I've got it routed down and over to here. And I just cut this piece up. So now this is gonna get tack welded right down to here so we can try to get it to shoot underneath the motor. Uh, so far so good. This actually turned out a lot better than I was thinking it was going to, which kind of makes me nervous because it's gonna kind of make me want to boost the car now. So. Uh, I'm gonna keep telling myself that I'm not going to, but uh, yeah, uh, let's see how that how long that lasts. Okay, so uh, I don't know how much the GoPro got because uh, it filled up the card, but uh, so far I've got the downplay. I'm just doing the final finishing touches on it. As you can see, it is this big snake thing. It came out really good, uh, so uh, I'm gonna finish up these welds on here, and I'll show you guys the finished product. So I'll see you in like two seconds when it's back on the motor. Hi guys, well, got the turbo manifold all well done, got the downpipe uh, installed. So this is how the final product looks, super duper tight, got the downpipe uh, routed right where it needs to go, super tight though. Yeah, so that's how you make a turbo manifold, uh, hopefully there was enough footage, I tried to go in a little bit more detailed on this one, so uh, yeah, you guys kind of got a better explanation on how to do this. Yeah, uh, so be on the lookout for the next video. I'm not 100% sure what the hell I'm going to be doing, but uh, hopefully it's something because i got to figure out something to shoot for next week. So you guys have a good day, and be sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you later. Peace.